just do want to point out um, for the record um, that the correspondence from the committee was on the 12th um, of Feb, but I think we will we'll have to discuss uh, how that letter was then interpreted uh, and the letter of the 19th, uh, because uh, we, on our side, it was uh, the 12th. But be that as it may, colleagues, that is the request that is before us uh, this morning. Um, so if I may hand over to you, and then I would make a few uh, uh, suggestions in response to that. Um, honorable members. Honorable Chair. Honorable Samuel, good morning. Good morning. Over to you. Good morning, Chair. Yes, yes, sir. It's, it's what the difficulty is on the prepar preparation for the meeting from our side. Uh, that um, um, knowing uh, that the um, institution, which is ESCOM in this uh, instance, is ready uh, with the with the plan. The actual notification uh, for the meeting. Uh, then becoming uh, an issue, which I think you need to um, a, a, a clarify from your side. But uh, ESCOM is not ready in terms of the uh, annual report. Uh, we need to uh, grant them uh, that a, a postponement um, on, on the area of the annual report and, and their reschedule uh, with time. Uh, we get the necessary uh, information and uh, uh, documentation. Um, though, though um, Chair, from your side, um, we we really need to uh, look into how can we at best um, deal with matters of uh, communication between ourselves uh, and the institution, so that there is no, you um, uh, uh, see, going through and off. Uh, on those on those on those matters uh, but but mine is that uh, uh, if if they are asking for such a, a postponement you give them postponement which is not later than the seven days and and uh, we reschedule the meeting all right thank you very much honorable summer any other takers oh the group um honorable uh, just one second Angiti, you deviated from the normal practice, right? Honorable Liz and then Honorable Fadmin, and then Honorable Latin will come in. I thought that was you. But Honorable Liz? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, yeah, so we, uh, we, we do um, have fallen to habits, don't we? And some are good and some are bad, but I think the use of the group is probably a good habit. Um, yeah. So, um, uh, but uh, my tipple, which I don't have every evening, might be a bad habit. Um, uh, good morning to, to everyone, and including um, uh, you, Minister. Um, I, I, a happy new year to you too. I, I hope that um, your, your, um, what, your running of the SOCs is, is, has a better year than last year. Um, Mr. Chairman, the the question of the annual report is is an interesting one because first of all I haven't seen the the hard copy and so um, we we need to get on top of that but that's a different subject. Um, I understood that this annual report was signed off by Eskim probably four or five months ago, and I, I'm sort of not sure why why there's um, a hesitance about being ready for it. I mean, the, w what exactly is the readiness that's that's required? Um, um, having said that, uh, if they're not ready, they're not ready. But I'm curious about what exactly it means not to be ready so long after the, the annual report was was uh, was completed. All right. Well, um, if that can be noted, Honourable Van Minen. And also, Happy New Year to everyone that I haven't yet wished that to, although I think we're virtually in March. Um, yes, I, I want to agree with, with the Honourable Lise. It's 
rather indicative, I think, of the state of many of our SAEs, that ESCOM is not ready to present something that they should be familiar with. Um, we certainly, from our side, are ready with, with questions, and we've had far less notice than they have. Um, this evening is, is problematic. I would need to reschedule a number of things. But yes, I just want to very much express my displeasure at the very, very late notice. I do understand that they obviously want to give credence to what is they're going to present, but it, it really is problematic that we're sitting in a situation with a very, very packed schedule where suddenly a very relevant player is not ready. Thank you. Honorable Hattebe, thank you, Honorable Fadminen. Thank you, Honorable Che, and welcome to the Minister of the... Well, first, let's uh, welcome uh, the Minister taking time from other commitment to be here and to request for postponement. And if um, ESCOM, um, they're not ready, well, for us to have a meaningful and effective um, oversight, we need all players um, on board and to be 100% ready so that it's not a malicious compliance. So I guess we'll have to accede to, to their request. However, we, we must state categorically clear uh, that this is not for the first time, okay? And uh, it appears as if um, SCOM wants to get a special treatment and that it's based on the sequence of events that have occurred previously. I'm not saying that's the case, but uh, the, the, the history uh, uh, speaks of such and we don't take it kind, Chair, uh, especially if the request was sent on the 12th, uh, well in advance. And for us to spend uh, sleepless nights, uh, sacrificing uh, weekends, preparing only on the 11th hour, which is yesterday, to, to receive a letter of postponement, as if the invite was also sent very late. We would have appreciated a situation where uh, and, and the request for postponement at least was last week on Friday. I'm raising this check. We're not serving only in Scorpio, we're serving in several committees. I had to submit uh, uh, from two other committees to be here because I wanted to prioritize this. Now I have to rush back to other committees of which I did not prepare for. Now, all I'm trying to raise and highlight is that a due consideration ought to be taken for us as members that we need also to be given time so that we focus on other issues of priority that needs our attention. I could have prepared for other companies. I could have read documents in preparation for other companies had I been informed well in advance that ESCOM uh, uh, is given uh, issues or challenges in, in relation to this meeting. Accepting that check, we need to raise those matters and they ought to be taken into consideration that ESCOM does not be, we are giving ESCOM a special treatment and this has to come to an end. I think we need to put our foot down that in the future moving forward we should not account or encounter a, a, a such treatment but having said that we accede to the, the issue of postponement and wanted to uh, communication and issues of uh, right, um, thank you um, for that keep your camera off we've got a very nice yeah. Uh, Honorable Mendy, you are muted. Just unmute. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Chair. Yes, Chair. No, 
Oh, Chairperson, I, I just want to make a, a so try to in terms of precedence. That's number one. We should not be seen as setting apology and be excused. And, and then number two, it is for the first and for the last time, just like on a, this is not prepared. Because our monitoring tool is not a tool as public uh, as committee on to deal with the real time monitoring. As we then postpone looking into the matters of the on the matters of the present aware of the fact that even an announced visit and an announced account their house is not in order that should not be made our business Where financials are concerned, any entity and any department. It's even worse when it comes to an annual report, because an annual report is a document that they've been sent their own uh, individually. They had their own tasks, tasks that they been signed off and they know of the, their contribution into the financials thereof that they have submitted themselves. That will then give you a, a certain basis. The chair will be fit. It looks like we are just ticking boxes. We did the annual account. About it. Don't give it to our account on something submitted to yourself. It's a ticking box. It ought to be internalized that our annual report flowing and who is at fault? Can you account for it? On it, and to be prepared to look in there. Not sure what is there to start on something that you have submitted yourself. I'm not a complaint. It's not it looks like someone out there will be accounting to this time. We will come our own time, and that's very much unacceptable. Thank you. Right. Um, thank you very much, uh, Honorable uh, Mentor. Um, I think that was the last of the hands. Um, and this, this, um, I think the colleagues have adequately covered any sentiment. Um, so I think we have directed questions. If there is a need, they must be responded to. Let's do that, and then we will uh, we'll, we'll, we'll move ahead. So if there's any response um, from ESCOM, um, if none, can I, 
academic uh, uh, yes my, my colleagues in escom i i just think that there has been a, a misunderstanding uh, of what was requested indeed i think there was a letter sent to us on the 12th of february requesting us to present the annual report and deviations to that and that information has been provided to scopa and we were ready and we are ready to present the annual report because we have already presented the Secondly, we don't want to be treated as an exception, but what we requested we received information for which we needed to have the board to look into the documents that ESCOM was going to present to SCOPA. That was what we way of the annual report presentation. I, I just want to clarify that. The letter has been written. I come in just on a point of clarity. Another letter present. Let's let I know I will explain that. Let's let the person finish the chairperson of the board because then the, I, I don't think the chairperson of the board and ourselves are speaking past each other. We are, we are exactly on the same page. Okay. Right. So let's yeah, after okay. that. Okay. Two letters were sent to the board of ESCOM, one on the 12th, one on the 19th. For the letter of the 12th, then the request, and we were ready to present on that. For the request that came on the 19th, we were not prepared and ready, I think, to convene. That's all that I want to clarify. We were not requesting a postponement that we can't present the annual report of ESCOM. That's not that's not <laughs> our and second to um, what, 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 which, 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 the letter that is written to the chair and that letter has what is the last uh, paragraph can of you leave letter. this to me please yeah okay All right. Thank you. colleagues as i'm sitting here I, oh. on issues about, about the annual report i on the 12th i sent through which we have conducted the department or entity on the annual report. With auditing a family of need or submissions or presentations. We coupled that with the expansions and deviations, which we have been briefed on by the National Treasury. On the 19th, which would have characterized today, the meeting was staggered so that this morning and the invitation would have emanated from the annual report in any case, but it was drawing the attention of ESCOM to SIU perspectives, which we've been briefed on, to do the expansions and deviations, in, and it 
was precisely for that reason why the expressions and deviations were scheduled for this. Lack of the 19th, in our view, was as the standard departments are given no less than seven days notice of a scheduled meeting. There are, but what I can assure you of is that ESCOM, as any other, in, that is a non negotiable. Is a non negotiable. I want to assure you. Of. Let's not muddy the waters with all sorts of other things. Actually, colleagues have been very, very measured, saying, but let's not get this come to put us in a difficult request that uh, we, 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 we leave that at that. Because when I appraise the members of, of the, they did not want us to proceed on a, on a with the hearing where you would not be in a position to have a meaningful engagement. We don't want to take So I think let's 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 leave it at that. But colleagues, I can assure you, sent uh, uh, timelessly, uh, and I would have reminded that if on that day, if, uh, an issue of colleagues, I'm going to propose as follows. So I would like us to leave this matter uh, at right. that. We will, we will we will we will accept your guidance and I think it's a very useful one. I think the new thing is you correctly pointed out on the uh, letter of 19 uh, they had in the letters of the 12th and the 19th. So the history of Eskom's post-2018 has been a good one, has been open, has been cooperative. Members should take account of that. And as well, other structures of Parliament as well. So, nothing uh, and, uh, at the same time, I can assure you that both from the minister's side hand, we do everything possible to do the things that need to be done. Actually, another meeting uh, which the president is chairing, but, but I excuse myself to avail myself and what I, I can assure you is that we would sometimes, you know, a letter can be dated the 19th, but by the time we see it, it might, uh, after the weekend. So I think some of that got in the way. Certainly, take note of what colleagues had to say, uh, but at the same time, please take, take note of what I am saying, which is uh, between the executive and parliament. Uh, through the process of accountability. So thank you, and you can then guide us in terms of how we move forward. Minister, there's a 
present honorable list. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's um, it didn't end. Um, I think it would assist us as a committee to ask him to respond, Mr. Secretary, if you can place the letters in the group that will. In the letter I received from the minister to the colleagues, because there are a number of issues here. I will request that us as come in detail as a committee and how we're going to structure our approach moving forward and with ESCOM. So that we bring this matter now. In, onto a trajectory which will not be preceded by these kind of things every time there's going to be a hearing uh, in the first instance, um, meaningful and unproductive um, uh, 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 hearing um, so that we, we, we actually get the work done correctly. So, colleagues, I would like to make the the annual report and the investigations, including but not limited to SIU investigations, will be rescheduled for next week or scheduled to receive a report from the SIU. Sorry, you're frozen for Let me start again. Am I audible now, colleagues? But let me start again. Will be circulated. It's not a problem. Um, secondly, as a committee, we're going to have to make a, a, a discuss once and for all to a logical finality an approach and a trajectory on how we handle the ESCO matter. We seem to find ourselves again with this kind of. of uh, the, 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 the hearings, and so that we bring it to, to, to clear the woods for lack of a better term. I fully offer the sentiments that colleagues have, have, have made, and 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 I agree with them. But let to do the annual report hearing and the issues of investigations, including but not limited to that. Is the program for next week Wednesday was going to be a briefing SAA investigations. And then that though that meeting at half past six uh, to um, half past eight, uh, because it is a briefing and because the matters of the now and Say I would touch to a later time. The session on expansions and deviations uh, will and we will with ESCO. So that should that session uh, uh, continues. Uh, and then could it make a determination about we move forward with these other matters. So, uh, to you, that the issues into the annual report and the investigation, including the investigation, and Any outstanding document 
Okay, so all right, then. that's fine. You know, this is a tap.
Cabelo. Cabelo.